Welcome to a quick overview of the 1971 film The Last Picture Show. Directed by Peter Bogdanovich, this movie transports us to a small Texas town in the early 1950s. It follows the lives of high school pal Sonny and Duane as they deal with love, loss, and the challenges of growing up in a fading town. As you watch, you'll come across many funny, surprising, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. But what makes this film really special? What qualities have made it a lasting symbol of the movie industry? Stick around as we explore some lesser-known facts and stories about how this movie was made. You might learn some interesting details that will deepen your appreciation for the film. Before we continue, we want to hear from you. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience connected to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a journey through the world of The Last Picture Show. Let's dive in and discover everything this classic has to offer. In 1971, a captivating film emerged, portraying the essence of small-town life and the challenging transition from adolescence to adulthood. The Last Picture Show transported viewers to the dusty streets of Anarin, Texas, where dreams clashed with harsh realities against the backdrop of a fading movie theater. Set in the early 1950s, the movie explores the lives of high school senior Sonny and Duane as they navigate love, loss, and longing in a town on the brink of extinction. Directed by Peter Bogdanovich, it mesmerized audiences with its raw depiction of human emotions and its unwavering exploration of small-town America. This cinematic gem not only caught the spirit of its era, but also left a lasting impression on American cinema. Its evocative storytelling and memorable characters continue to connect with audiences, making it a timeless classic that spans generations. As we delve into its world, we embark on a journey filled with nostalgia, heartache, and ultimately, redemption. It's a powerful example of cinema's ability to capture the essence of the human experience and carve itself into the history books. The Last Picture Show, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, features notable trivia that adds depth to its production. Sybil Shepard's role involves significant decision-making regarding nude scenes. She consulted female co-stars, including Cloris Leachman, Ellen Burstyn, and Eileen Brennan, who supported her choice. The jukebox in the diner is a vintage Wurlitzer Model 2000, manufactured in 1956, potentially valued at $25,000 after restoration in recent years. Jeff Bridges' portrayal of Jeffrey, the dude Lebowski in The Big Lebowski garnered acclaim, ranking 90 on Premier Magazine's list of 100 greatest movie characters of all time. These details enrich the understanding and appreciation of the film's history and impact. Peter Bogdanovich credits a magazine cover featuring Sybil Shepard for inspiring her casting in the film. Shepard herself recalls Bogdanovich later watching an old silent screen test of her shot by Roger Vadim. In a documentary about the making of the film, Timothy revealed having a crush on his co-star Shepard during filming, though she didn't share his feelings. The Last Picture Show, directed by Bogdanovich, has been recognized by the Library of Congress and selected for the National Film Registry for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. In 1971, a significant film called The Last Picture Show hit the screens. It depicted life in a small Texas town during the 1950s, the movie earned a nomination for the Top 100 Greatest American Movies by the American Film Institute in 1998. After making it to Hollywood, one of the actors from the movie took up a job as a janitor on Hollywood Boulevard. Within a year, he got a part in The Last Detail and later received nominations for major awards like the Golden Globe, BAFTA, and Academy Awards. The lead actress in the film, like many others, didn't show up to receive her Academy Award in person. She won for her role in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, joining the list of 14 Best Actress Oscar winners who skipped the ceremony. Some other notable names on that list include Katherine Hepburn, Claudette Colbert, and Joan Crawford. The movie offers a glimpse into the complexities of small-town life and the personal struggles faced by its characters. Its portrayal of the era and its exploration of human relationships continue to captivate audiences. The Last Picture Show, a movie from 1971, has interesting connections to other movies and important people in the film world. In the movie, they show Red River, a film from 1948 with John Wayne. After finishing this movie, Peter Bogdanovich and Larry McMurtry worked together on a script called The Streets of Lerdo. They originally wanted John Wayne and James Stewart for it. They also thought about casting Sybil Shepard. But when Wayne said no, McMurtry turned the script into the book Lonesome Dove. 
A sequel called Streets of Laredo came out in 1995, with Sissy Spacek taking a role that was first considered for Shepard, and Randy Quaid was also in it. Ben Johnson almost didn't play Sam the Lion. His friend John Ford convinced him to take the role, even though Johnson wasn't sure at first because he thought the character had too many lines. Ford asked him if he wanted to be John Wayne's sidekick forever, which made Johnson say yes eventually. James Stewart, who said no to playing Sam the Lion, is still sort of in the movie. They show his film Winchester 73 on the theater sign in the town. These stories show how Hollywood works together and how decisions affect movies. The involvement of famous people like John Wayne, James Stewart, and Ben Johnson adds to the story and shows how connected the film world is. During the making of The Last Picture Show, Sam Bottoms often tagged along to watch filming with his elder brother Timothy Bottoms. One day, the director Peter Bogdanovich decided to test screen Sam and eventually cast him as Billy. In March 2006, Sam Bottoms filed a lawsuit against Focus Features and producers David Lind and James Seamus, claiming he was fleeced into working cheaply by the filmmaker's assertion that Brokeback Mountain was a low-budget art house film with no prospect of making any money. Despite Brokeback Mountain's success, Bottoms dropped the lawsuit in May of the same year. The circumstances of him dropping the suit were as mysterious as the circumstances under which he filed his claim. Focus Features agreed to pay an undisclosed settlement. During filming, Sybil Shepard and Jeff Bridges had a brief fling. Shepard later claimed that it was the only time she ever slept with a co-star. The Last Picture Show, a film from 1971, holds a prestigious spot on Roger Ebert's Great Movies list. Its narrative delves into the lives of characters facing various challenges and decisions. One such character, played by Sybil Shepard, undergoes a traumatic experience, an illegal abortion in 1950, which renders her unable to conceive. Meanwhile, another actor in the film, Jeff Bridges, found his calling in acting during the filming of The Iceman Cometh in 1973. He transitioned from simply enjoying acting to making it his sole profession. The last picture show captures the essence of a small town's struggles and its inhabitants' journeys, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. In the 1971 film, The Last Picture Show, Ben Johnson played a pivotal role as Sam the Lion. Interestingly, Johnson had a connection to the title before this film as he worked as an uncredited stuntman in Red River, which is identified as the last picture show mentioned in the movie. Randy Quaid, another actor in the movie, faced controversy during the 2007 production of Lone Star Love. His behavior led to a lifetime ban from the Actors' Equity Association. Quaid, who portrayed Colonel John Falstaff, was accused of mistreating fellow actors and causing the show to close prematurely. Some actors complained about his odd behavior, including his insistence on approving his costume, which involved dyeing his hair red and wearing an oversized codpiece. Quaid defended himself, saying he was only delivering a performance that deeply affected others. The Last Picture Show has been recognized for its cultural importance and has been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress, along with Brokeback Mountain. Both films are valued for their impact on cinema's cultural, historical, and artistic aspects. In summary, the movie remains notable for its cast members and its recognition by the National Film Registry. The controversies surrounding Quaid's performance in Lone Star Love add an interesting layer to the film's history.